Hi there! You are watching a video of above ground storage tanks in industrial plants. A floating roof is a circular metal structure provided with a floating capacity because of the pontoons included in this structure. The pontoons allow the roof to float on the liquid in an open or closed tank. There are two types of floating roofs. The external ones, which rest on the store liquid and are in contact with the environment, and the internal ones, those not in direct contact with the solar radiation and rain. The process of sending and receiving the stored liquid is the same for both configurations. The main differences between internal and external roofs are the following. Both the internal and external floating roofs can reduce evaporation losses. Internal floating roofs can effectively prevent the stored product from being contaminated by wind, sand, rain, snow or dust. Tanks with internal floating roofs are easy to build and maintain. In addition, materials of the seal element have longer duration because they are not in direct contact with solar radiation. In large diameter tanks, where the fixed roof would have to be supported by columns, making the seal between this and the floating roof complex. In addition, the cost of tanks with external floating roof is generally lower. Due to manufacturing tolerances in the construction of large circular structures, the diameter of floating roofs is smaller than the tank's internal diameter. This gap allows the roof to travel up and down without any interference with the tank wall. The space between the floating roof and the inner tank wall is closed by means of a set of mechanical seals divided on primary seals and secondary seals. The requirements and design guidelines for this type of roofs are contained in Annex C of the API 650 code. The design of the roof and its accessories should allow the roof to travel to the upper and lower liquid operation level without damaging the tank body, the roof itself or any other appurtenances. Single deck floating roofs consist of a flat central cover surrounded by pontoons floats, which are divided radially into compartments. Since the roof is exposed to the environment, the design must warranty adequate drainage. The central cover is formed by a membrane formed by steel plates, overlapped and welded by means of a fillet weld, usually only in the upper part, and connected to the inner part of the pontoon. The different parts of this type of roof are shown on the screen. This type of roofing is used for tanks up to 65 meters in diameter. For larger diameters, fatigue caused by wind has been experienced due to the excessive flexibility originated in the central part of the tank. The double deck floating roof consists of two decks covering the entire roof. The pontoon has an upper and a lower membrane separated by a number of ribs between these two decks, defining the compartments of the roof. The outer ring with the compartments represent the main buoyancy element of the roof. 
This type of roof is of much heavier construction than the previous one and also more expensive. However, a more rigid construction allows better drainage from the top of the roof. The different parts of this type of roof are shown on the screen. This type of roof is preferred for small tanks, under 10 meters in diameter. If you wanted to use simple roofing, the central cover would be very small. Double dex roofs are also preferred for tanks with diameters above 65 meters. Its use is recommended in those areas where the load on the roof due to rainfall and debris is very high. The pontoon is the element that provides buoyancy to the floating roof. It is a box formed mainly of five plates. A top plate, a bottom plate, two rings, inner and outer, and a series of radial brackets. The dimensions of the pontoon, width and height, vary depending on the buoyancy requirements on the tank dimensions. The design of the pontoon must comply with the requirements of Annex C of the API 650 code. Some of the main requirements are Single deck roofs will be designed to stay afloat with a load of 250 mm of water on the central deck during 24 hours. This is without drain. Floating roofs must stay afloat with two adjacent compartments floated. Each compartment will have a 20 inches nominal pipe size manhole for inspection. Tanks with floating roofs will have a ladder that automatically adjusts to all roof positions during tank operation and shutdown. The ladder will have the ability to accompany the roof throughout the roof movement without interfering with the normal position of the roof, supports and any other element. Internal floating roofs are used inside fixed roof tanks to reduce gas emissions. Since this type of roof is not in direct contact with the atmosphere, its construction is much lighter compared to external floating roofs. The requirements for internal floating roofs are limited only by safety and durability factors. Allowed configurations and minimal requirements are included in Annex H of the API 650 code. There are different types of internal floating roofs as shown on the screen going from bulk-headed type, steel pontoon type, to aluminum sandwich type. The net capacity of the tank is limited by the total distance that the roof can travel within the tank. The lower limit depends on the arrangement of the tank in terms of internal pipes and connections penetrating the tank wall. Internal floating roofs can directly rest on the store product. This way, there is no vapor space between the roof and the product. The free space above the floating roof must be adequately vented to the atmosphere to avoid the accumulation of potential explosive gases. The design of internal floating roofs must comply with the requirements of Annex H of the API 660 code as mentioned earlier. Some of the main requirements are The roof must travel the total height of the liquid without manual operation. It must be electrically connected with the shell. The roof must stay afloat with two floated compartments and the roof shall withstand a load of 225 kgs at any point. 
The main parts of an internal floating roof are the floating device, in this case the pontoon, the seals with the elements of the tank, shell, ladders, columns, the roof manway, the roof vent, the roof supports, the supporting wires if needed, the flotation level and the vents.